All right, everyone. Yesterday, uh, there was a sort of a celebratory day for, for gay rights and gay marriage and things like that. Biden, of course, weighing in. Um, and, and link in the description, there's a, a tweet that he made. And I responded, of course, because he never did anything for gay marriage. And if you look at the number of responses from his fans who think he had something to do with legalizing gay marriage in the U.S., mind blown. I never expected to find so many goddamn morons, including on a Joe Biden thread. I figured that there was at least a little common sense. It wasn't that long ago that gay marriage was legalized in the U.S. It was 2015. It's only a half decade ago, and these people have completely lost track of the history uh, of, of the progression of gay rights in the United States from the 70s on, which is basically the birth of it. They still think that the Democrats were the first champions of gay rights. Well, no, the Libertarian Party back in the mid-1970s had the first openly gay presidential candidate, and that was back during a period when it was considerably more taboo. It wasn't until the middle of the 2000s that you got the beginnings of a shift in society in favor of it. Before that, there were people that were like, well, I don't hate gay people, and so we'll have civil unions, and Biden was one of them, and so was Obama. It wasn't until 2012 that Obama, halfway through his presidency, and for political reasons, and I'll get into that, uh, declared that he wouldn't defend DOMA. There was a challenge against DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act, um, and, and uh, Obama refused to uh, champion it as the prior administration had. Um, he said, well, no, I'm not going to defend in court. Basically, just let it die. It wasn't until 2012. He, he, Hillary Clinton, another great example. Hillary Clinton, when she was in the Senate, and again, it wasn't long before that very era, was a civil union dem as well. She's like, well, I believe marriage is between a man and a woman. All of a sudden, she's declared to be a major matriarch of the gay rights movement, along with civil union Obama, civil union Biden. It's like when Biden tells the story, and, and, and I, can, I can tell you that it's wrong, I can tell you this never happened, when he says, well, when I was a little kid, I saw gay men kissing, which, trust me, never happened in the 1950s where Biden was living. It didn't happen. He claims he saw two gay men kissing and he was confused because, oh, I just thought that men and women were the ones that kissed. He's, you know, he's a little kid. And his dad's like, well, it's okay. They're in love, son. Again, things that never happen. His dad born, I think, at the end of the 1800s, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm sure he had very progressive views on gay rights, especially in the 1950s of all times. <laughs> never happened. How do we know this? Because Joe Biden was a staunch advocate of traditional marriage all the way through until he was vice president. He never lifted a finger in any way, shape, or form to stop gay marriage from happening once it became a societal issue, for political reasons, but he never did anything to advance the cause. Likewise, gay marriage was not legalized by President Obama in any way, shape, or form. He, the only meaningful thing he did was say he wouldn't defend the Defense of Marriage Act against uh, against uh, the, the court system. He refused, essentially, to litigate, to defend uh, executive policy on that, which had been uh, put in by the prior administration. That's all he did. And Biden didn't even do that. He was just the VP. A president can't legalize gay marriage. SCOTUS did in, in Obergefell versus Hodges. By that time, by the way, SCOTUS had spent a decade being called upon to take it up as an issue, and very wisely, in my opinion, they let the lower courts and legislatures handle it. Why? They wanted to wait until the writing was on the wall. By the time that Obama declared DOMA unconstitutional, Vermont and California had gay marriage. I think half a dozen states had civil unions at the time. And then what happened in 2012 was specifically three different states decided to legalize it. Going forward, there were so many more initiatives sprawling out across the country. Obama looked at the polls, which showed rising and near 50% support for gay marriage, and certainly overwhelming support for civil unions. And he said, the writing's on the wall. I'm going to get out in front of this a little bit, right in an order basically to tip the balance, and then take credit for it as being the administration that's probably in power, because you know, it was 2012, getting re-elected against Romney was you know, basically a wash towel by the end of the election. And he's like, well, I'll get kudos for that. Oh, and he did. And Biden gets kudos too, but he didn't do anything. Name a single thing that Joe Biden did over the entire course of his Senate career or as VP in favor of gay rights until the president decided not to defend DOMA. Absolutely goddamn nothing. The writing was on the wall in 2012. Maine, Maryland, and Washington State, I believe, legalized in that year. So now you had gay marriage in five states, 
for the first time states were beginning to legalize it sort of on their own accord there's a big battle in california now over oh in massachusetts uh, already had it legal so six or, or seven states by that time at that point it was clear that it was going to become a thing and scotus waited until more than 50 percent of the states had it and then they did their decision which was wise i think it, it, it avoided a larger struggle if they had done it years earlier it would have been great as far as equality for gay people but it would have caused social alienation the public didn't largely approve of it yet they waited until public approval was fairly clear and of course at the time a lot of evangelicals said that satan was going to reign over the united states now and everything would get terrible instead things got pretty good trump got elected and for a while there everything was booming well, not so much right now but we'll see what happens in the near future uh, uh, armageddon did not come believe it or not uh, but i mean watching biden's fans give him credit for a decision that was made by the supreme court only a few years after obama made the first binding decision and that was simply not to litigate on behalf of the prior administration's defense of marriage act literally he did nothing biden had no part whatsoever in, in in any ideological sense either he didn't lead on the issue he didn't speak out about the issue as as a later tater uh, after 2012 when obama said it was okay finally he could say well you know i was i was for gay rights the whole time well no you weren't it's like obama gets called the first gay president because of the fact that he didn't defend doma it's not much of an accomplishment dude trump was more of a progressive than obama and biden i tried to point this out too donald trump was queried about it in the 2000s not even in the 2010s keep in mind in the 2000s support for gay rights was less than 50 50. and it wasn't really going anywhere until the end of the bush administration it wasn't really until uh, 07 or 08 really that gay marriage became a big issue gay rights yes had been an ongoing thing but the, the struggle for gay marriage didn't really reach a, a crescendo until the end of the 2000s basically you had obama in there people are like well he's so progressive and hip why isn't he hip to the gay stuff and of course he waits for an entire term before he does um biden didn't do anything trump was saying in fact he might have even said it back in the 1990s that he didn't give a fuck he was asked explicitly about it i think around 2008 was when the uh, interview was done they're like well what do you think about gay rights he's like why should i care yeah, do what you want to do he see he sort of took the position of let the states begin legalizing it he doesn't have a problem with it he's by the way done this with medical marijuana and even with with legalized recreational marijuana has the trump administration stood in the way of the death of the drug war no actually he's he championed medical marijuana and said that he knew people that used it and it was great and, and it wasn't going to crush uh, uh state dispensaries like obama kept doing obama was raiding dispensaries and minnesota got until what was it 2014 before he wised up that's by the the way the next big social issue the drug war going bye bye and, and i i side with the left on that more than anyone else although i notice a conspicuous lack of republicans that give a damn at this point they're not really doing anything to stop it it seems like we're just slowly getting rid of the drug war without a, any particular social struggle they decided not to die on that hill but it's probably a good decision to make it helps that trump is not a, a moralist in the uh, social sense uh, no biden uh, had nothing to do with gay marriage whatsoever he didn't lift a goddamn finger to uh, uh get marriage equality for a single person because it was politically inconvenient you see when he was in the senate it would have been unpopular it's not a progressive or a social champion of, of hope and change or any of this other sloganeered bullshit he just he was just a lifelong senator and he probably if he hadn't been chosen for that slot for vp he'd probably still be in the senate at the moment you know slowly withering away like strom thurmond that's about all peace out